In this equation, we want to get rid of the fractions as soon as possible. However, our fractions have different denominators. We will have to find a common denominator before we can get rid of the fractions. The common denominator for 2 and 5 would be 10. 2 goes into 10 5 times. 5 times 1 equals 5. On the other side, 5 goes into 10 2 times. 2 times negative 3 equals negative 6. Before we go any further, let's put parentheses around each of our terms. We have three terms on one side and one term on the other side. Since we have a common denominator of 10, let's get rid of our fractions by multiplying each term by a numerator of 10. The two tens cancel out and we are left with 5p for the first term. In the second term, we have negative 5. Negative 5 times 10 equals negative 50. In the third term, we have 8. 10 times 8 equals 80. In our last term, the two tens cancel out. We are then left with a negative 6. Negative 50 plus 80 equals 30. Our equation now reads, 5p plus 30 equals negative 6. To get rid of the 30, we can subtract 30 from both sides. The two 30s cancel out on one side. On the other side, negative 30 plus negative 6 equals negative 36. Our equation now reads, 5p equals negative 36. To get rid of the 5 in front of the p, we can divide both sides by 5. The two 5's cancel out on one side. On the other side, we are left with negative 36 over 5. Our answer now reads P equals negative 36 over 5. Ah uh, yeah, Mr. Mojo. <laughs> This has been a Brain Tofu production.